Alrighty, so what's up guys? Best of Games here, and we're back. Uh, this time we're gonna take on... I'm gonna go against Tezzeret. I believe he's easier of the two. Um, I'm not gonna pick the same deck this time. I want to use something else. Uh, Tezzeret actually does use three colors. This deck actually uses three colors as well, so I think I'm gonna go with three colored deck against three colored deck. Just to kind of handicap myself a little bit. Um, so we're going to get started here and we're going to play out this duel. Um, it's the same thing. Uh, there's a whole big, like completely big backstory and lore to Magic the Gathering. And I truly don't know very much of it or even pretend to care. I, I don't want to know. Um, I think it's great that they have a whole lore and backstory and everything to it, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't really uh, work with me. Uh, okay, 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 and go in. So we can't keep this hand because I only have one land. I can't very well keep this hand knowing that I, you know, need to draw things and play things. Um, now this I can roll with because I do have one green, I have a forest, and what this does is it lets me play a land from my deck um, on turn two when I use this, when I use the forest and the island. So that gets me three land. This will get me, I believe, two more. Uh, yeah, one goes on the field and one goes into my hand, so that gets me five land, which is enough in the first couple turns to basically put the stomp on anybody. Um, so, we're going to keep this hand, because this hand is usable. So we're going to play that forest, and we're going to end our turn. Tesserit never plays anything on his first turn, it's very rare. Um, Cramping growth. Let's get the one color we don't have into this mix. playing something already. Uh, flying Death Touch. Okay. 2-1 Flying Death Touch. That's the end of my turn, just building up. He's gonna hit me for two, which he honestly should. No reason not to, I can't block it. I have nothing to block it with. Artifact spells cost, cost one less to cast. It's a one, two. That's right, Tezzeret's all about them artifacts. Surprisingly, his deck is actually functioning as it should, um, which is kind of bad for me. Um, won't lie, but... I'm gonna play the Blitz Hellion. block. Alright, cool. Just do seven to your face. I'll take that, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. When, when he 
controls three or more artifacts, it gains a buff, but uh, he only has two. Two. Ooh, what do we got here? Just a two two with haste. I'll take it. It's fine. It's cool. Should I play the other one first? Yeah, totally misplayed. Um, so I should have played that card first and then played this card because this card would have a plus three plus three, um, just for the turn. But it would it would make a big difference here. Um, so I totally misplayed. Just. Just for the record, um, that's what happens when you don't use cards that are generally yours, is you tend to, you know, make mistakes. Um, destroy target non-artifact creature. Go for the throat. So he's going for the throat, clearly. I may actually lose this, just based on the fact that I don't really have anything to work off of here. Um, so now he's going to hit me for five. Oh, that's not a that's not a good card for him. I mean, it's great for him, but terrible for me. Oh, fuck you, dude. Tezzeret, you bastard. I've never seen you play this good before in my life. Don't understand, bruh. He's not going to block. He's got the advantage. Although all I have to do is hit him. Yeah, he's keeping stuff out of combat so he can block. Oh, well that also gives them the buff. Or he only, only he gets the buff? Oh no, everybody gets the buff. Okay, thank you. I was like, that's wrong. I know that's wrong. Is that of haste? Let's trample haste. I think. No, 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 no. Fuck me. I totally skipped over it. <sighs> Restart. So I fucked up, and like I said before, that one move, if I had attacked him with that first, if I had played the one card and then played the other card, I would have probably won that one. But I fucked up. Um, I fucked up horribly. And so now you get to see me restart a duel. Because um, I completely misplayed, I completely did everything wrong in that entire entire thing. Um, in fact, if I had played him first and then started using all the haste creatures, that probably would have worked out better in my favor. Um, I think I can actually play this one. It sucks that I don't have a different color land in my hand, but it's fine. I'll, I'll accept it. I get to go second, so I draw. For turn. Um, good. I should be able to get all my lands out within a couple turns based on that card, too. Oh, what do we got? 
Artifact spells cost one less to cast. You already got that shit? Damn. Your deck functions better than it used to. Alright, cool. I don't even have to waste it on that. Great. I mean, I could just attack with the 2 2, put pressure on him. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's put some pressure in. Let's, let's go for the early game pressure. Not blocking? Okay, it's fine. You don't have to. I didn't expect you to. Sometimes ramping isn't your best option. Sometimes ramping up to the cards that you want to play is not the best option if you have cards to play at that turn. you have it. So now I can play Rampant Growth. can also play this guy at the same time. Oh, what is he doing? Just gonna counter it? Okay. Attacking with both, you can have it, it's fine. This is sorcery, yeah, it has to be instant. Okay. Foolish to attack since he's got such a strong card. He's gonna keep. 
keep it where you can block. Flying Death Touch, okay. Let's attack. He might block, he might not. He didn't block, alright. Good. Okay. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Play your card. Using the term more for expanse to put things back. card because it benefits him as well. I'm better off just attacking and going all in right now. Alright. All I need is an attacking card or some kind of creature next turn and I probably have this one. It's gonna attack me with everything as he should. Now see if I played this card, he'd be able to play that and then kill me with it because of its the effect of the card. No, well, give me a forest, but you know what? It does. I don't think it matters. I don't think he can. He can't block all these. He can only block one of them. And together, it's going to be three damage regardless. So he loses. So I just won. So that's how close magic can get. Um, <laughs> it can get to the point where it's basically just who can deal the most damage. It also can come down to a lot of different things. Um, like if I drew a creature that wasn't super costly, I probably would have won that way as well. Um, it's it's all dependent on what you can draw, what you can play, what kind of combos you can create. Um, so, yeah. It's a lot of magic for you. Um, so, I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked to see my fail. And then my uh, almost fail. Um, so, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.